Alrighty, hello boys and girls, back for the continuation of the Bloody Baron storyline. And uh, apologies for the last video, I think the audio was way too low. I should be improved, hopefully not so improved that it's too loud. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's uh, carry on. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did that what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll fly him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Chamber. Tomorrow's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. All right, Bloody Baron. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. I don't know if I should take this or not. I'm going to. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I don't look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Over. Let's just search in here too. Incense and an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anis. 
sandalwood, and something else. Saffron? We are more like a family. We will support each other and help each other survive tough moments, grapple with the past, for each of us has a past. Do not, you needn't worry about anyone digging into yours. We've got a rule, never ask more than someone offers on their own. The past doesn't matter to us, only the future does. That in our common fight against evil and depravity, against perverse and loathsome practices of all kinds. Interesting. Is that everything? Looks like it. Just follow the scent. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Done poking around? Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Okay, so this is not the the best <laughs> little event, the Peller, but oh well, we got to do it. All right, and as long as we're here, we might as well. Let's see. No, nope, I don't think that's the room we want. So Siri was here. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Where'd Siri get this? A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. The spinning top. Gritka's toy. Put in the stash. I mean, we do, but nothing to uh, to uh, pressing at the at the moment. Shinanaking. 
So you're Gretka? I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. You and Siri talked to me, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gritka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Whatever. What did you say to me? Fucking shit eater. Uh, <laughs> if the game didn't prevent me from punching you in your neck, I would. We got the wrong quest up. You know what? I ah, screw it. I was gonna say we don't really need to uh, enhance our armor and our sword. I don't think not for this next one. So I'm not gonna bother doing it. I considered it. We're gonna go ahead and grab these. See if uh, we can fast travel. We can get a little closer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Roach. 
Dice, please! <laughs> Take it easy. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got Dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Think we need to leave now. Do we? You do. Well. Let's go then. Hmm. Gotta wonder about a man who could get Edric's friends all worked up. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Oh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. You were expecting me. Aye, as the bones declared I should. They shall come whose stench is ripe and death. But the wolf shall disperse them, the white wolf. And thus he comes. Omens never lie. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper. Designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. You make the amulet? Aye, sure it was the Pella. After the way of his forefathers, over still water in the light of a full moon. Proper as amulets go. It protected well. Should never have taken it off. So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion. From dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. As long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? And here we go. Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go, I always keep an eye out for them. Alrighty. This way, I think. A 
another clue. I think that was the wolf that way. I was able to clear it out. Winds howling. Wait, wait. It's another body. It is. But nothing to loot. There you are. Here, goat. Here, princess. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Okay, how do I use the bell? Ah. Oh. Let's go see the beller. Should have guessed as much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, damn it. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on, take you back to the beller. Misses you something awful. you go of course come on princess bear bear run you stupid piece of shit On, princess do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow oh, what's this you're no roach I bet we could be friends in time. You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. Princess, flee not from the Pella, for there are wolves about. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Happy for you, but I'm kinda in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The white wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood, we need blood. A living being. Fine. Be right back. Uh, 
<laughs> the goat has to drink the blood? <laughs> This too. To get Ozzy Osbourne, the, the rat. Oh, good. At least he's using a knife. There of me, there is God. Blood. I see blood. Who's? No one. No tomorrow. Just a child. A child that lives not. Yet did not die. It's over? Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, and augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Hmm, Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps, or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Anna tell you all this? Did she come here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. What happened to the child? In a grave thrown. Without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. Heard of one witcher who lifted a botchling's curse. Never tried it myself, though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Peller. Mm -hmm. And what does the Peller do? He awaits forefathers' eve. He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year. But we'll find a way, all the same. I hear you right. You mentioned Forefather's Eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefather's Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name. Appease their regrets. Only then 
May they depart in peace. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Alright, and I think that is a good place to stop this portion of the story. I uh, hope you like what you saw, and I hope I see you next time. Until then, Palpatine out.